Hong Leong Bank Berhad says it's open to strategic mergers and acquisitions. CEO Tan Kong Kun, however, did not reveal any potential targets at this time. Uh, mergers and acquisitions will always be um, opportunistic in nature. You can't plan for them. So we, we, we don't sort of plan for those things too. Um, but if there are opportunities and they're attractive at the right price, yeah, why not? And it's a creative. Most important, it must be a creative to your business. And the sustainability part of it is very important. Commenting on the bank's loan growth, Tan remains optimistic despite the uncertainty surrounding the implementation of the goods and services tax. He adds that the property and auto markets should see softening in the coming months. Uh, for mortgages, truth be said, people still need houses, you know. And um, it will continue to grow, albeit at a more healthy pace, I think. So we might see a bit of uh, softening uh, of demand, but it's healthy. It's the prevention of a bubble, right? So uh, I, think, I, I think that will be fine. Uh, auto loan, this is a seasonal period though. We just came out from the seasonal period, so maybe I'm still at a euphoric high because everybody wants a new car during the new year kind of thing. But uh, I think, uh, so our volumes are very, very high over the last couple of months. But over the longer term, I think if spending is, is sort of more uh, stabilised downwards, then probably auto will, will be impacted a bit. Tan adds that the bank has set an industrial loan growth target of 7%. The company announced today that its net profit for the second quarter grew by 6% to 552 million ringgit from 520 million ringgit last year. Its net profit for the six months also recorded a 3.2% increase to 1.09 billion ringgit from 1.06 billion ringgit last year. The bank's earnings came in mainly from its personal financial services and corporate banking divisions. It also announced an interim dividend of 15 cents per share. Jonathan Gunn, DHTV.